Hi, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. Hello, hello, guys. Me logran escuchar. Can you hear me? Ingeniero, buenas noches. Yes, me. Buenas noches. Deme un segundo que por alguna razón me escucho doble. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Me escuchan bien? Can you hear me nicely, clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. No, no escuchan doble or anything? No. No, ok, perfect, perfect. So, thanks everybody, gracias por acompañarnos este día el lunes. Eh, iniciamos pues ya las últimas clases de este módulo. And thanks a lot por conectarse súper tempranito. Vi algunos compañeros, like 10 minutes ago, super ready for classes. Thanks a lot for that. Um, and well, I'm just happy to see you guys. ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Estuvo bastante lluvioso, right? A little bit complicated en algunas áreas. But what about you? ¿Cómo estuvieron? How are you? What, how are you? ¿Todo bien? Very relaxing. Relaxing? Yes. Okay, very good. Yeah. Well, you went to the beach, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, I remember you went yeah. to the beach. What about the rest? ¿Cómo estuvieron, guys? How was it? ¿No tuvieron mayores problemas en su zona? Oh, to share in Sayapango so yeah, in San Salvador is okay. Okay, it was good. But, yeah, right. but, but, in, yeah. but mm -hmm. in Ciudad Arce, mm -hmm. near to uh, Free Zone American Park, mm -hmm. we we have a trillion machine, mm -hmm. and this located is too much rain. Oh, okay. Were, was there like a floating? Hubo alguna tipo de inundación o algo así, like a floating? No, only, really. the, only the rule is, uh, what is the slide? It's slide. It's the, the rule in the, uh, hubieron des, deslizamientos. Oh, landslide. Ok, landslide. Oh, pero espero que todo el mundo haya estado, que nadie haya sido afectado, right? I just hope so. Todos, no, todos, todos estuvieron, todos están bien, digamos. Oh, ok, ok, ok. That's all right. So, glad to hear that, guys. What about the rest of you? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Did you have a good weekend? Not so good. Did you rest? Vieron alguna película? Did you sleep a little bit? Good evening. Hello, how are you? I see uh, Hasta Weather, Karina, hello. I see Carlos, tell me. Hello, Anita. Dolores, Ernesto, glad to see you back. Hello. Hola, Jackie. Jocelyn, hello. Good to see you, Pedrina. I also see Richard. Hi, Richard. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> okay, el buenas, buenas, como que no va here, but hello, hello works. <laughs> okay, well, Lupe, how are you? Jocelyn, we missed you. I'm happy to see you back. Hi Eduardo, thanks a lot for joining as well. ¿Qué tal guys? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de? Was it good? Oh. Hi Deb. And guys, I have amazing news for you. Tenemos eh, Independence Day this week. It's going to be on Wednesday. So probably algunos iban a trabajar and, and I'm sorry about that. Pero no vamos a tener clases. Así que that's, I guess, a piece of good news. Estamos terminando el módulo el día jueves, right? We are finishing the module on Thursday, which is just amazing. Um, well, and then, eh, and, and then, <laughs> so van a volar, right? Hasta intermedio. Así que, guys, eh, I guess that is a beautiful piece of news that I have for you. And uh, as we said before, well, la idea es que practiquemos tanto como sea posible these last days. That I'm pretty sure that you're going to do an amazing job over there as well. So, uh, teníamos, well, hemos estado practicando esta semana uh, un poquito de pasados, right? Llamas, eh, inspoken, 
uh, parts, un poquito de listening, hemos estado escuchando a los compañeros, like carefully. Today vamos a seguir con simple tasks, vamos a practicar mucha pregunta, like a lot of question, hasta que, eh, remember, inglés es como una cuestión de repetir, hasta como que somos tipo periquitos, de tal manera que entre yo más repita es más fácil. Um, so, si repito un tema 10, 20 veces, si digo una palabra 10, 20 veces, la 21 vez que la diga, eso va a ser mucho más fácil. So, um, this is the idea, right? And, and thanks a lot for, uh, por siempre estar super activos, participando. Gracias por la camarita. I'm happy to see your camera there. Um, también pueden modificar, right, uh, su fondo, como el fondo de pantalla, el background que tienen acá. And uh, como Carlos y Jackie pueden poner su foto too, para que no se vea así tan negro, you know. <laughs> you can also like modify that as well. Um, vamos a dar inicio. Eh, tengo, solamente voy a iniciar pasándoles asistencia antes pues de, de, de la clase, right? Just to make sure we got you there. Deme un segundito. Deme ya está con here. And let's get started. Gracias a quienes me compartieron el video, you know, quienes me describieron también un poquito de, de lo que veíamos la, la, la semana anterior. That was really, really good. I got very good videos. So thanks a lot for that. Okay. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Creo que es de Brian, right? <laughs> It was Brian's yes. voice. I'm sorry, I, I cannot see your screen. That's why I ask you for the camera para que nos quede la grabación. But thanks a lot for that. Okay, me regalan confirmación, porfa. Eh, okay, me. solo de menos minutos y me cambio entonces. Ah, vaya, no se preocupe. Hola, Anita, la veo por ahí. We heard Brian. Eh, Danis. Present. Gracias, Danis. Uh -huh. eh, Dolores Saray. Saray, regáleme confirmación, porfa. Present, teacher. Gracias, gracias. Eh, Eduardo. Lo veo por ahí, me imagino que se levantó. Guadalupe. Present. Gracias. Hola, Jackie. Hello, teacher. Hello, Miss. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Great. ¿Cómo está todo por ahí? ¿Cómo está la lluvia por allá? Hola. Te voy a ir Ay, present y voy a ir escuchando porque voy a manejar ahorita. Gracias, Alex. Thank you so much for that. Um, Saludos ahí a la señorita Delgadillo también. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Se le dice señorita Delgadillo. That's why I, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. I got Jocelyn. Hola, Jocelyn. Ya la vi por ahí. Gracias por ayudarme con la camarita. ¿Cómo está, Miss? How are you doing? Good, teacher. Good day. Very nice. And thanks a lot. Gracias por acompañarnos. Me alegra verla ya, you know, con todas las pilas y la energía puesta. Thanks a lot for that. Um, Ignacio. Ignacio lo acabo de escuchar. I think he is up. Present teacher. And, gracias, gracias. And I say uh, sorry, but the last weekend I saw a very interesting movie on Netflix. Oh, really? Yeah, it's it's called Live Twice in Spanish. Vivir dos veces. La oh oh okay. You're gonna tell us I, about that later. De hecho, vamos ahora a practicar un poquito. Vamos a intentar describir películas too. So, uh, ya nos va a contar. You're gonna tell us what the movie was about. Uh, thank you for that. Eh, Norbert, no sé si Norbert está por acá. Present teacher. Yes, nice. Norbert. Great, Hi, great, great. Norbert, yo creo que llevamos perfect attendance, si no me equivoco. So, super good. Creo que te, tengo algunos de perfect attendance, así que ya voy a empezar a, a tomar like, like para el último día de nuestros awards. <ríe> so thanks a lot. Uh, Alex, Alex, Marvin López. Bueno, Alex, ya lo escuché. Marvin, ¿está por acá, Marvin? Yes, no. Uh, Clary. Clary, Clary. 
Creo que no. Marvin. No. Ok. Eh, Moses. Creo que todavía no. Nelson. Creería que Nelson ven camino todavía. Eh, Pedrina. Gracias, Pedrina. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? How are you? Bien. Gracias. Nice. Great to hear that. So, gracias por acompañarnos. Me alegra verla acá con todas las energías, Pedrina. Eh, René. ¿Ya vino René? No yet. Ok. Uh, Richard, regáleme confirmación, porfa. Como dice Richard, me fui a la tienda. <ríe> so I think he went there. Ok. Um, Mabel, ¿está por acá? Present teacher. Oh, ok. Gracias, Mabel. Thank you so much. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de? Nice, nice. I'm glad to hear that. Eh, Brenda. No. Carlos. Carlos, lo veo. Gracias, gracias. Eh, Karina. Gracias, Miss. Claudia. Hola Nelson. Hi Tisha. Gracias por acompañarnos Nelson. Thank you so much. Un segundo. I got Nelson here. Oh. Okay. Okay. Let me share my screen. Hey guys, so thanks a lot. Gracias por acompañarnos. And remember, solamente para darles un recordatorio rapidito, solo nos quedan tres días, después de ahora dos más. <laughs> ok, así que please eh, don't miss it, right? Intentemos aprovechar los últimos días para practicar tanto como sea posible. So let's get started with this. Um, el día de ahora tenemos session con René. Espero que se nos pueda unir un par de minutitos, right? And, uh, y si no, les voy a escribir si en caso tenemos el espacio y alguien se nos quiere um, unir, nos quiere acompañar, right? So, to get started today, tengo acá un par de expressions, un par de pictures that represent something. Uh, they are really cool, actually. So, first, uh, I want you to tell me some ideas, right? Let's take a look at the first picture. <coughs> I'm sorry. And uh, tell me what comes to your mind when you see this. All right, what do you think about this? So take a look at this, the first picture. Uh, first, what country do you think this is? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, so China, everything is related to Chinese culture, yes. So now, what can you tell me about China? What, what ideas come to your mind when you see this, when you see this picture? Or when you heard, oh, China. Um, the Happy New Year for China is celebrate on January. Okay, so the, the, the Chinese New Year, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, what else comes to your mind? And this is like a temple, temple. That, that's a temple. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. For example, when I hear the expression or the word China, what comes to my mind are dragons. <laughs> I don't know why, but I um, kind of put together China and dragons. What about you guys? What do you think about this? What comes to your mind? 
¿Qué se les viene a la mente? What comes to your mind with China? Nothing. You're very quiet today. <laughs> sure. Guys, they know, they know uh, karate. Okay, karate. Uh -huh. They eat mostly, most, like. I like the animal, the mouse. Mouse, yeah. De hecho, el, el plural de different mouse animals. es el mice. Oh, they eat different animals. For example, what type of mice, la palabra que les escribí en el chat, es el plural de ratón. So mouse, and then you have mice, ratones, right? No sería mouse, sino mice. Um, okay, so what type of animals do they eat? Mice or mouse? Snake. Snakes, okay. Spider. Spiders. Scorpion. Octopus, oh, teacher. Octopus, dogs, yes. cats. What yes. do you say, Murcielago? <laughs> yeah. Bats, like Batman. Ignacio? Teacher, the, the, China, the China's eat, eat the dog, cat, and another animal. And whatever crosses in front of them. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Mouse, okay. knife, yeah. And, well, and the China, China is, a, is a great country but is a too much great the the, the the country have a border too much country in Russia and uh, in Asia in Asia Asia and the country but have a too much culture yeah. Exactly. So, um, like China is a very cultural country. No, you know, uh, creo que tiene una mala fama. I think the country or the people, I don't know, uh, normally lo asociamos con que comen everything, right? So, I don't know if it is true or false, um, but I have seen videos de, de comida que sí, that look like octopus, scorpions. So, I don't know. Maybe someday cuando vayamos, we can say, oh, that was true. Or, oh, that was voice, right? But yes. Would you like to go to China? Would you like to travel to this country? No? Yes, I like. Yes, I like. Where Where would you go? Or why would you like to travel to China? The Muray of China. The Great Wall. Okay, to the Great Wall. Great Wall. Great Wall. Como una pared. The Great Wall. The Great Wall of China. Mm-hmm. What about the rest? Guys, would you like to go to China? I would like to meet pandas. <laughs> oh, you like <laughs> to see some pandas, okay. Yeah, right, the, most of the uh, pandas have their habitat right there. Mm -hmm. What about the second one, guys? What about dolphins? Do you like dolphins? Yes. 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 Okay, what do you know about dolphins? Things are uh, very, very intelligent. It's an intelligent animal? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else? What else? Sonia? They eat a little fish. They eat little fish? Okay. Norbert, Jocelyn, Anita? Guadalupe, what can you tell me about dolphins? Maybe they care of people. Okay, they take care of people. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, they are so cute, right? They look like very cute animals. And as Alex said, they are famous because people say that they are very intelligent. All right. Um, what about this one? What about airplanes? Um, have you ever traveled in a plane? No. No yet? No yet. Okay, anybody who wants to give us his or her opinion? Have you ever traveled by plane? Yes, I have. Oh, okay. What was your experience? Mm. Sometimes is scared mm -hmm. because I don't know turbulencia because it shakes. It shakes, uh -huh. 
in some case it's raining. Mm, okay. And you can see the extremos. <laughs> okay, the lightning. The lightning. Oh, okay. Okay, thanks a lot for your experience. Uh, anybody else? Alguien que nos quiera contar. If you have been on an airplane, so what was your experience? Carlos, Jackie? Nelson? Uh, teacher. You, yes. Sorry, but, but I, went, I went to Japan, you know, and uh, the flight, how long it, 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 the flight is how long, but how to use the 14 hours. 14. For 14 hours, yeah. Wow, and, uh, almost a day. El Salvador from, from El Salvador to Los Angeles. Los Angeles and so you had a stop. Mm -hmm. the, El Salvador from Los Angeles, five hours. Mm -hmm. In Los Angeles to Tokyo for 14 hours. Mm -hmm. The uh, Pacific Ocean is is a uh, is the voice. It, uh, todo el vuelo es cruzar cruzar el Océano Pacífico. In the, mm -hmm. it's a long long time because. In the in the plane, we sleep and wake up. In the, in the time is the same. The time is same because the in the Pacific Ocean to exist the I I don't know but the the, the line time the line time where the person lost a day. Oh, and, so probably it's longer than that. <clears throat> and, and when we return, the person win a day. Okay, okay. Yeah, because, right, so you have like the, like the El Ecuador, I think. No, it's a, maybe the Greenwich because because the, the, the time, for example, I, yo salí, I- mm -hmm. You left El Salvador? No, Los Angeles. Okay. In Friday, mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in Tokyo, I'm going to, uh, I, I arrived to uh -huh. the Friday. Oh, in you Friday. arrived on the same day? We, we we lost a day. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I'm, yeah, I mean, it's the time zone. Yeah, we do have this time of the time zone. But thanks a lot for sharing your experience. Yeah, I know you, you've been in training in Japan and that must have been a really amazing experience. Okay. Teacher, but, but, but it knows only the, the question of uh, the, 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 time the hour different different country but mm -hmm. for example in tokyo i am sleep at the 10 or 12 em mm -hmm. when in el salvador are night yes really really yeah, we do have the, the time lag. Well, we do have lagging. Uh, there is something, now that I mentioned that you're not traveling and everything, uh, there is something that is called uh, jet lag, right? Que es como el, este cambio de horario, right? El, el cambio de horario biológico. So that, exactly what you said. You have to go to bed and sleep at a different time. So that's jet lag. Uh, and also it depends on the time zone. So. And, and I think that we already kind of relate to this porque tenemos muchos amigos, you know, family members who live in a different country, right? And for example, here in El Salvador, son las 3 de la tarde, it's 3 p.m. 
And one of my friends is in England and there it is 9 p.m., for example. And uh, yes, it's totally clear. It's like super uh, sunny and everything. So, I mean, it's a matter of every country, seasons, time zone and everything. But yeah, definitely we got it there. Um, so that is a little bit with airplanes. Let's go ahead with the next one. Take a look at this. Guys, uh, anybody knows? Well, give me examples of jewelry. The word para joyería is jewelry, right? Uh, you have written that in the chat. So jewelry is joyería. Uh, please repeat with me. Ju jewelry. 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 That is jewelry. Okay. Jewelry. <laughs> 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 Un poquito raro, right? A little yeah. bit strange. So, jewel, uh -huh, jewelry. 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 So, when we're talking about jewelry, uh, tell me, what can you what can you name? ¿Qué tipo de accesorios pueden mencionar? What can you name? Earrings. Uh -huh. Earrings. Here. Rings. Uh, can you repeat, Brian? Rings. Oh, rings. Mm. Okay, rings, earrings. What else? Necla necklace. Necklace, exactly. The necklace. necklace. Okay. Yes, very necklace. good. Actually, this is a necklace. Mm -hmm. Necklace, earrings, watches. What else? Bracelet, probably, right? Bracelet. Mm -hmm. So that's bracelet. And those are like the most common that we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Let's go with the next one. How do you call this one? What is this? Yes, that's a broom. Yes. And si no me equivoco, Danis, en su empresa hacen brooms, ¿verdad? Yeah. Yeah, so you made brooms. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. So, con qué asocian las brooms? What do you relate uh, brooms with? Clean. With cleaning. cleaning. Okay. With cleaning. Yes. Uh huh. Cleaning, ¿qué más? In my case, I don't know why my brain thinks a little bit differently here. <laughs> because when I see a witch? exactly witch? when I see a broom, Halloween. No pienso witch? Yes. I don't think about cleaning. <laughs> I immediately think about Halloween. I think about October, Halloween, October yes. the 31st, costumes, wishes, exactly. Okay. Rene witches. Well, the wishes and witches, both of Witch. them. <laughs> <laughs> Las brujas y deseos, right? What about this one? Um, what is this? What do you think about this? The, the, the tree that is on top. What do you think about this tree? Or how do you call it? Actually, in El Salvador, there this is a one. tree. Yeah, that is very similar to this one. Uh, this is in Japan, but in El Salvador, there is a super famous tree uh, that is Maquilisbo, right? Or Arbol de Fuego, if I'm not mistaken. Guys, ahora no. que estamos en el mes de la independencia, tell me. Maquilisbo. <laughs> no voy a hacer que termine diciendo. Yo Como el de no. Cuatro Visión. El, el, <laughs> exactly, la flor ¿cómo nacional. Dijo? El mozote. Eh, el mozote. <laughs> Ya yeah, no, guys, no es el mozo. Y René le daba refuerzo a ese niño, fíjense. <risa> es en serio. <risa> sí, sí. René de, le daba clases privadas. Sí, pone bueno, es, es ahí. De los símbolos patrios, no, René. Shame on you. <risa> René no está acá, por eso que. No, oh, no, ahí está, bro. Bueno, sí. oh, hi, René. Is that true? Is that for real? No, it's, it's not real. René, here, le queremos preguntar cuál es la flor nacional. El mozote. No. La flor is over. No, but, but yeah, you're right. So, well, actually, this maquilis, what is a, so, it's a really beautiful tree, right? La, la ave nacional es el sope. Yes. Hi, Richard. Hello, hello, teacher. 
Hello there, nice to hear your voice. Okay, so me alegra que ya haya vuelto de la tiendita. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, so ¿qué vamos a hacer right now? What are we going to do? I'm me going to give you. <laughs> so, les voy a dar 10 minutitos. No, 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 10 es demasiado. I'm going to give you five minutes, only five. What I want you to do is the following. Quiero que escojan una, solo una picture. I want you to take a picture from here and I want you to make like a story, a super short story with that picture. Um, so, yeah, so ya, ya tenemos como un poco de ideas de en qué podemos decir, I don't know, from the dolphin, for example, from eh, this one, tomen ideas de películas que hayan visto, stories you have read, etc. So, for example, when I see the dolphin too, se me viene a la mente la whale, las, las, um, oh my God, how do, call, how do you say whale in Spanish? This Hola. big black animal? Ballena. Yeah, la ballena, thank you so much. So it comes to my mind, this whale, eh, y se me viene a la mente la película Liberando a Willy, for example. <laughs> so, I mean, the idea is just to take a picture, create una historia super cortita about what happened to this. Well, for example, I can tell you this one. Le vamos a llamar Kevin, all right? So, me recordé de Liberando a Willy. So, um, I don't know, one day Kevin lost the rest of his family uh, in the ocean and uh, was stuck in the, in the beach. So, a boy saw him, you know, y, y de ahí comenzamos a crear algo. So, we start. Uh, you know, creating something. Um, the only thing que si les voy, a, les voy a recomendar es, no lo piensen mucho en Spanish. Eh, intenten como tener la idea de, ah, pasó esto, pasó esto, pero no vayamos traduciendo palabra por palabra porque es mucho más difícil, right? Y tampoco lo pongamos en el traductor because the idea es que nuestro cerebro empiece a pensar un poquito. Si pueden buscar una palabra, pueden buscar dos palabras, por ejemplo, quiero decir atascado, Busco la palabra atascado, atascada, y eso es todo. No es que voy a poner um, el, el delfín se atascó en la playa. <ríe> no es toda la oración, es solo una palabra la que se busca en el, en el traductor, right? Or in the dictionary. So, chicos, si no es cinco minutos hasta las 40, y luego venimos y me cuentan su historia. You tell us your story. Only five minutes. Si necesitan ayuda con algo, let me know. I'm right here. Ya vino René. Me hacía falta Marvin. Marvin ya está por acá. Hola, hola. Hi, teacher. Hi, glad to see you. Gracias, Marvin. Ok. Me hacía falta. Gracias, Claudia. No van a ser grupos, teacher. No, ahorita no, solamente lo vamos a hacer individual. Ok. I know that eh, tienen muy buenas ideas. So. Ya, yeah, five minutes. Mm -hmm. Tienen tres ahorita. You got three only. <risa> uh, ya lo tengo dos, quiere decir. Okay. Pero es una escoba que está en la esquina abajo. ¿va? Es una broom, yes. Es broom. Una mm -hmm. For me, broom is like a wish. 
Yeah, the, the ideas that we acabamos de compartir, you know, you share some ideas. So that's the one. My film is Harry Potter, maybe. Yo me emocionada hablando y estaba en mute. <risa> oh, guys, eh, ¿ya terminaron? ¿Did you finish? Eh, Regale mi confirmación, please, si necesitan más tiempo o si ya estamos ready and we can get started. 
One minute, two minutes. Necesita más tiempo? Do you need more time? Sin pena, guys. That is your story. Yes, teacher. One minute. Is one minute okay? Yes. Okay. Give you one more minute. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so I hope you were able to finish your story. Si no la han terminado todavía, no se preocupen, no worries, that's totally fine. Uh, le podemos siempre inventar algo más. We can definitely use our um, imagination, you know, to make it a little longer y pues improvisar un poquito también. So, voy a enviarlos ahorita, ahora sí, a grupos para que podamos compartirle a los compañeros sus historias. Listen to your classmates. And remember, esto es un poquito de listening comprehension. Estamos educando en nuestra vida. Si hay una palabra que ustedes no entendieron o una parte de la historia that you didn't understand, pregúntenle al compañero, I'm sorry, can you repeat? Did you say this? Did you say that? Mm, you know, uh, or utilizamos algunas expresiones como por ejemplo, just to make sure, so, como para confirmar que entendí algo, right? Mm, so, eh, Norberto, just to make sure, solo para asegurarme, just to make sure I understood you, you said this and that, all right? Es una muy buena estrategia para clarificar contenido cuando no estoy segura. Uh, en vez de decirle, can you repeat, right? Solo usted quiere confirmar que entendió correctamente. So, um, just to make sure, or let me, let me repeat it for you, or let me understand the story. So, son algunas expresiones que podemos utilizar para, you know, eh, clarificar qué es lo que el compañero me quiso decir. So, let me understand the story, etc. And, uh, and that's it. So, I'm going to give you five minutes. Para que vayamos, escuchemos, listen to your classmates carefully, please. And then venimos y nos van a contar la historia del compañero. Not your story, but your classmates' story. Yeah, so let's go ahead. Remember, pónganle mucha atención a los compañeros. Si hay una historia que les interesó, try to get more ideas. And, uh, y regresamos en un minuto. Guys, let's go. Vámonos. Let's go, go, go.
Bueno, chicos, me indican si alguien tiene dificultades en entrar. Eh, Jackie, eh, Brian, Marvin. No, chicos, ahorita, perdón. Bueno, no worries. Hola, ¿qué tal?
Hello guys! Thanks a lot for coming back. Thanks a lot for joining. Um, did everybody finish? Did everybody listen to the stories? Todos lograron como escuchar las historias, guys? Yes. Or tell your story. Vamos a esperar unos segunditos mientras el resto de compañeros se unen también. They are coming in 20 segundos. So. Just hold on. Did, by the way, ¿escucharon alguna historia que fuera interesante? Did you listen to any cool story, interesting story? Something that you say, oh, that was good. I like that one. The history of Danny, Danny's Maze Bruins. Okay, what was Danny's story? <laughs> I don't know. He, he has a. Okay, okay. Bruins. Start. Okay, Danny, tell us your okay. story. What was that? Uh, uh, the, uh, my story is. For the produce broom, mm -hmm. there is a broom at home, and mm -hmm. um, one and two and three, three one, three broom Brooms? for uh -huh. house for okay. house. Uh, the broom are make the material recycling or new uh -huh. material. Okay. In the the bus the bus. Is the bus is on the uh, oh the base good hunter yeah okay the, the, the base is created the material and DPE uh, the class, class classification is number two for recycling okay recycling number two is HDPE okay the the monofilament or ¿Cómo se dice cerdas? Los pelitos. Uh, no sé uh, si no, son uh, strings. Strings o monofilament. Ok. Monofilament is created, the, the bottle is PET, PET. Ok. And the classification is number one. And the, the bottle, the water, the, the contain water, or soda and juice and the this is it is estimator then then bottle uh, the equivalent are one writer broom then okay yeah okay well, thanks a lot for sharing that with us. Okay. okay. Actually, I was investigating a little bit about brooms because I, I don't know much about the process of creation. And for example, eh, yes, se le llama string, como okay. a, a lo que se mueve, o también se le puede llamar brush, right? Como el brush. cepillo. So, mm, okay. That, okay. Actually, eso de acá. Son strings o puede ser brush también. The, mm -hmm. the number 10 color is monofilament. Ah, okay, okay. Como monofilamento. Okay. Well, okay. el nombre, no sé, el nombre es que <laughs> regular. El, el brush, brush uh -huh. es ya el cepillo. Yeah, I mean, yeah. El, okay, ese es el technical y el otro es como el genérico. I don't know how people call it. Uh, so ese pelitos. sería el brush. <laughs> Well, pelitos, <laughs> or brush, el cepillo. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Thanks a lot for okay. that. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Okay, guys. Next person. ¿Quién nos quiere contar un poquito de um de China? Alguien escogió China as the topic for your story. Yeah, teacher. Okay. T tell us, tell us, Ignacio. What do you have? Karina. Les voy a, I'm gonna give you a. I'm gonna time it para que podamos practicar más y o participar más. Uh, I'm gonna give you like 30 seconds. Yes, tell me, tell me. Me? Yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> the history the Karina, of, right? <laughs> the history of Karina, yeah. She say she talked about the friend 
China's. Mm -hmm. They they speak the their friend is to prefer to eat the the food, uh, uh, especially China's food, and and the 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 food is uh, normal. They say it's uh, normal. Did not don't don't eat the dog or cat another mm -hmm. only sorry it's only no no don't be sorry that's actually fine so yeah that is totally right i mean tiene la mala fama i think that the country has a bad reputation but as karina said not necessarily it's dog or cat <laughs> okay yeah. thank you so much for that um anybody has something about dolphins i escucho right remember not necessarily su historia sino puede ser la que es, escucho uh again escucho una historia del dolphins or... teacher yes alex uh, brian I Uh, I have an uh, opinion, creo que no sé, I, yo tengo una opinión, pero de China, yes. ¿verdad? No es historia. Oh, tell us, tell us, what's your opinion? China is a country very, very big, or big, mm -hmm. big country. Yes. And an interesting country. It's a super down, down de grande, ¿verdad? Yeah, big. There is an economy extreme as cost the living of its inhabitants. Mm -hmm. They are a uh, bad boss. He mm -hmm. alone, I use light, uh, they do food. Nobody more. Yo los odio a los chinos, a todos los asiáticos. <laughs> Why? Wait, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I totally agree with the things you mentioned. No porque he tenido la experiencia, sino por que no tanto documental que hay, I think. Sí, son, <laughs> so, no, son explotadores. There are bad bosses, so, you said. Sí, bad boss. Mm -hmm. Y este, son malas personas. Los chinos son They, malas really? personas. Really? Sí. Eso sí se lo puedo asegurar. Ok, tell us why. No sé cómo decírselo en inglés, ¿verdad? Inténtelo, eh, y acá le ayudamos. Acá los compañeros le ayudan, no worries. Eh, the last, eh, como two years, last. Two years ago. Atrás, two years ago. En mm -hmm. eh, the office, eh, dimos una asistencia, algo así. De asistencia. Mm -hmm. Because one... China people uh, have the accident. Mm -hmm. They killed two persons, Salvadorian. Wow. Y este, como le dijera, es que no sé cómo decirle, la cosa que el tipo no, quedé, no se quiso adherir a las leyes del país. Oh, they avoid, didn't want to respect the law? Yes, ajá, no nos tomaron en cuenta. Entonces, okay. yo le digo, son malas personas. Los chinos son malos. Oh, Okay, well, I'm really sorry to hear about the bad experience you had. And, and, and yeah, that must have been bastante difícil, bastante shocking, right? Culturalmente, like for everything. China. Only, mm -hmm. only more. You like the food? <laughs> okay, yes. you like the food though. All right. Okay, thank you for sharing your opinion. Okay, anybody else? Alguien nos quiere contar su historia, guys? Probably brooms, jewelry, trees, airplanes. The little dolphin, the little Kevin that we have here. Uh, anybody? Dolores? Start ahí. Can I talk? Sí, teacher. Díganos, díganos. Yes, tell us. Okay. No, no, okay. Well, let's go with Sarai first and then we, we go with you. Creo que también Jocelyn tiene, nos quiere compartir la historia. So then we go with Jocelyn. Um, so Sarai, si está lista, we are all okay. here. Le escuchamos. In the month of independence, mm -hmm. take about the national tree of El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Eat the Maquilis Watts. Mm -hmm. Its flowers are pink. Yes. Its wool is very fine. It, it also has medicinal properties. Oh, okay. And 
the tree is very large, very long, and yeah. is very beautiful. Okay, <laughs> nice, Sarai, that was good. That was a really good description. It calls my attention and I need to ask you this. You said that Makilis what had medical properties. So, for example, wh when do people use Makilis what, uh, or what do they use? The flower, the leaf? Um, no sé si se lo puedo decir en español. <laughs> uh, Intente lo que puede, and, and then vamos a español, no worries. Um, um, I read. Uh -huh. Ah, ya ve que si sí puede, you can do it. Uh -huh. <laughs> No, es que solo leí que era <laughs> Okay, no, but that was good. I mean, oh, yo pensé que era como like, that you knew how to use it. Mm -hmm. Nunca había escuchado que tenía um, medical or, you know, medical properties or anything. Ya voy a leer. I'm going to read. Voy because here, here yeah, exactly. <laughs> because here in my place, I bastante maquillas, but so I didn't know. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot for that. That was nice. Okay. Nice description. Karina, we go with you and then we go with Jocelyn. Yes, I I was explaining the Sarai history, but oh, okay. just, but now I stop. <laughs> but she already explained. <laughs> Anna okay. Delby. Ah, okay, perfect. Okay, Anna Delby talk about a uh, jewel jewelry. Yes, um, and she mentioned uh, jewelry and clothing. And clothing are a good combination ah. and elegant, but mm -hmm. so expensive, it's too expensive. Yes. And sometimes um, you can wear or use an, an imitation or similar, generally. Yeah, oh, okay, like a pajarito <laughs> brand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, actually, there is a word for that. I'm going to write it in the chat para que nos quede por ahí guardadita. Uh, that is fake. fake. So, yeah, we can use or we can wear like some fake jewelry. Fake es como um, una réplica, you know, como algo que no es um, original. Let's call it that way. So, it's fake. Yeah, that's right. So, fake jewelry. Okay. Guys, do you like wearing, ahora que me hacen jewelry, do you like wearing jewelry, like necklace, watches, bracelets, rings, earrings? Do you like wearing them? No, miss. I like the watches. Watches? The, or the, the, what do you say de la marca? Yo, yo soy fanático de fossil. Brand. The, I like it or I brand, the brand fossil. Fossil brand. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I have also like seen people, they like big necklaces, como tipo bling bling, things like those. Are you like no. a fan of them? No. 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 Oh, Sarai, thanks a lot for that. Okay. Para la garganta. Oh my God. I'm sorry, I'm just reading Sarai's. Um, is telling us a little bit about Makili's work. Que interesante, very interesting. I had no idea. Paludismo, creo que ya no hay paludismo. But I didn't know that it was good for the throat. Okay, pensé que era veneno. <laughs> I thought it was poisonous. I didn't know, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much for that. I think we are missing Jocelyn. Jocelyn, vamos, Jocelyn. Do it. You can do it. Okay. Um, Jocelyn, yo creo que se mutió. I think you're mute. Okay. My history teacher mm -hmm. is about uh, uh, with my daughter. Ah, okay. uh, tomorrow. Nice. Tomorrow, my daughter talk, will talking about the 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 national tree of El Salvador. Ah, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yes, and my my daughter, she thought uh, 
for example, hi uh, teachers and hi classmates. In this moment, I talk about the 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 national tree of El Salvador. Okay. Um, según el acuerdo, no sé cómo se dice. Según el acuerdo. Ah, ¿Cuál acuerdo? <laughs> Así no. According, according to the agreement, according okay. to the article, uh -huh. according, according to the agreement to... for number 44 mm -hmm. uh, in the Salvador in the first of September and the in the 1939 uh, 30, mm -hmm. uh, se declaró, teacher. It was declared, it was said. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, uh, is why, why, was it, uh, como, uh, the Salvador, the, the, the national tree of the Salvador, uh, the name of uh, Maquiles Watt. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, nice. And then she, she will uh, talk about the 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 flower is pink is a beautiful tree yeah and yeah it's amazing <laughs> hey, thank you that was very nice vamos a hacer presentación de la independencia Jocelyn um, yes. <laughs> that was a very nice description creo que le estaba ya dando a hacer la tarea right <laughs> yes <laughs> You have been kind of busy. Oh, amazing. Uh, here in the chat, le compartí la like some expressions. Por ejemplo, according to, que es como de acuerdo a, according to. And uh, cuando queremos utilizar la expresión como, fue declarado como, podemos utilizar la expresión as. Ya yeah, como, oh, esto es tan bonito como, this is as, as beautiful as. Vamos a ver más adelante el uso de as. Pero eso sería como para comparar. Muy buen trabajo. Very nice job. Okay. Amazing. Okay, guys, let's move a little bit on. Hola, Brian. Tell me, tell me. Are we to have class with witness? witness? Um, no, we're not having classes on Wednesday. We are going to finish module on Thursday. Yeah, así que tranquilo. No worries. <laughs> That's going to be until Thursday. So we are going to have classes solo, well, de hecho nos faltan tres días. Today, tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, and Wednesday, creo que la mayoría Wednesday. va a descansar, espero que descansen. And no, it's going to be until Thursday. Okay, guys, uh, vamos un poquito. We are going to practice some conversations, eh, siempre utilizando simple past tense. Um, so I need like two volunteers, pero antes de leerlo, Hi. let me go ahead y lo That voy a leer her. para ustedes. Thank you so much. So Brian, and creo que escuché la voz de Mabel, right? Yes, yes perfect. Solo permítanme leerlo y luego vamos eh, with you. Vamos a practicar ahora un poquito de entonación, un poquito de, um, well, de hecho, English, si ya se percataron, es como lleva un poquito de, de digamos, entonación, de ritmo. Entonces vamos a intentar meterle esto. Um, no, nunca va flat, nunca es como, hi Eric, how is it going? Hi Lou. I mean, lleva mucho cambio en la voz. Entonces vamos a intentar ahora ponerle esos, esos cambios de voz, especialmente cuando haya alguna pregunta. Let me read it for you. Mrs. Lewis says, hi Eric, how is it going? Eric says, hello Mrs. Lewis, I'm just fine. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience and he was very knowledgeable. Yeah, knowledgeable. Everybody, vamos a repetirlo, knowledgeable. 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 Ahora más rápido, knowledgeable. 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 Very smart. Con mucho conocimiento. So the speaker, he was very knowledgeable. Era como muy, que sabía okay. mucho, right? Que tenía mucho conocimiento del tema. Like when you talk to somebody, is, uno se queda encantado cuando van a una conference or something porque sabe mucho. So the person was very knowledgeable. Now, Mrs. Lewis says, did he provide examples of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. 
and he used the computer to provide examples. Sounds good. So everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and he left very late. So again, vamos a repetir solamente algunas expresiones. La primera, intentemos no decir how are you, ya, yeah, o podemos combinarle un poquito. En vez de decir how are you, from now a los próximos tres días, intentemos usar esta expresión, how is it going, ya, yeah, es lo mismo, pero un poco más cordial, ya, yeah? un poco más friendly, un poco más cercana. So first, vamos a repetirle. Este how is se une. How is? How, how is? is? Ahora vamos a unir con it. How is, how is. it? How is it? How is it going? How is it going? How is it going? How is it going? Ahora pongámosle un poquito de entonación, un poquito de ritmo. Hi Eric, how is it going? Hi Eric, how is it going? Exactly. Remember? How is it going? Very good. How is it going? ¿Cómo te está yendo? ¿Cómo estás? Right? How is it going? Now, next one. Es una pregunta. How was the training? Pongámosle un poquito de énfasis al final. Right? How, how was the training? How was, how was the, the training? training? How was the training? Tuvimos un poquito de la voz. Exactly. Next one. Um, esa palabrita de acá. Provide. 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 Exactly. Provide. Next one. Sounds good. Sounds, sounds good. good. Oh, that sounds good. Sounds good. Sounds sounds good. good. Sounds exactly. Good. Se escribe como, pero no se pronuncia. Es sounds. Oh, sounds, sounds good. good. Mm -hmm. The sound sound good. sound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sounds, sounds good. good. So y esta time. palabra difícil oh, no le llevo yeah. ahí. No, 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 de conocimiento, no, 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 Okay. What? Help me, please, con Mrs. Lewis, the guy in the conversation, and Brian, help me with Eric, please. Okay. Hi, Eric. How is it going? Hello, Mr. Lewis. I just find him for asking. You're welcome. How was the training? It was excellent. The speaker had a lot of experience. And he was very, you know, legible. Did he provide example of the topic he talked about? Yes, he did. And he used a computer to provide examples. Sounds very good. Uh, so everything was fine, right? Well, he was some minutes late and we left very late. Very good. <laughs> Excellent intonation. Muy buen sonido. Very good rhythm. That was good. Good guys. Exactly. So uh, very nice. I like this one. So how is it going? And knowledgeable. Que son de las palabras que pueden ser un poquito más uh, difíciles de pronunciar sometimes. You did it perfectly. All right. So ellos están hablando de un entrenamiento. They are talking about a training, right? Um, I know that probably we are not much into trainings. Algunos comentaban la vez anterior que no es muy común you go to a training. So later we are going to come back to this topic. And in the meantime, vamos a practicar un poquito de pasados. Revisamos las preguntas here. La primera que tenemos es did. Um, did he provide examples of the topics, right? And also tenemos una pregunta un poco más um, Abierta, ¿a dónde estaba? Where were you? Oh, how was the training, right? So, vamos a practicar un poquito las preguntas today. Uh, let's take a look at the following. Uh, vamos a practicar preguntas cerradas de sí y no. Por supuesto, nosotros damos más respuestas, no solo nos quedamos con sí o no, sino que le agregamos un poquito más. Um, uh, now, ayúdenme un poquito con la estructura. ¿Quién se recuerda cómo van las preguntas en pasado? Um, was. Puedo utilizar was, exacto. Puedo utilizar was. ver para preguntas. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Pero son tres, exacto. Was, where, or did. Now, 
El guaso el where nunca se puede combinar con otro verbo. That's very important to remember. Si yo le pregunto, por ejemplo, ¿cocinas que ayer? Cocinar es un verbo. Ya no se puede combinar con was or where. No le puedo preguntar was you cook, was you work, where you cook, where you work. No se puede. Entonces, si son verbos diferentes a ser o a estar, voy a utilizar el que mencionó Guadalupe al final. Did. did. Exacto. Did es para preguntas. ¿Qué significa did? Pues en realidad nada. <ríe> el did solamente está ahí para ayuda, para decirme, uno, esta es una pregunta. Y número dos, esa pregunta va en pasado. Le estoy preguntando de ayer, de la semana anterior, del mes anterior, etc. Pero si la quieren traducir, no se complica en la vida porque no hay traducción. ¿ya? El did no tiene una traducción literal. So now, vamos a practicar preguntas. All right? um, algo bien importante de recordarse es el verbo. ¿Puedo utilizar el verbo en pasado en una pregunta? No. 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 We don't change it. We don't change it. Because tenemos el did. That's it. Así de simple. No se puede cambiar. Now, here we have, did the speaker use a computer in the speech? Yes, he did. No, he didn't. Le pregunto con did. Respondo con did. Did, he listen, did the listener ask questions? Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Right? Now, ayúdenme con la primera pregunta. Uh, write simple past questions using the verbs and pronouns in parentheses. Number one. What is the question in number one? Did you meet? With your boss yesterday. Very good. Did you meet your boss yesterday? Guys, alguien se reunió con el jefe ayer, tuvieron reunión o trabajaron. Did you meet your boss yesterday? In my case, no, I didn't. What about you? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. All, all tomorrow. Yes, I did. All morning, Danny. No, yes, all morning. Yesterday, ah, yeah. ayer, yesterday. <laughs> yes. yesterday. Oh, no, pensé que me hablaba all, de mañana. All, okay, no, no, so no, yesterday. All, 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 all morning. Yesterday. All morning. All morning. Yes. No worries, yes. entiendo, el lunes. Okay. <laughs> no worries. Okay, number two. Yes. What about two guys? ¿Cuál es la pregunta en la two? What is the question in number two? Siempre comenzamos con. Did. Did. Yeah, exactly. Did she attend? Did she attend? The July yes. conference. Yes, exactly. Did she attend the July conference? Maybe yes, she did. Maybe no, she didn't, right? Siempre vamos a poner atención también a uh, de quién estamos hablando. She, Here, le preguntan yeah. de she. Yes, she did. No, she didn't. Okay. Number three. What is the question in number three? Did they stay? Did they stay? In the meeting last night. Very good. Did they stay in the meeting last night? So in our case, we didn't work. <laughs> so probably not. Number four. En la número cuatro hay un error de dedo acá. Dice P A S, pero le falta una eh, una doble S, right? Que es de pasar de aprobar. So si tienen el manual impreso, solo agregan ahí con un lapicito una letra S. Otherwise, eh, recordemos que es PASS, P-A-S-S. -S. Ok. So, ¿cuál es la pregunta en number four? Did he pass the test? Did he pass the test? Exactly. So, yes, he did. No, he didn't. We don't know. But there we go. Ok. Number five. What about number five? Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Exactly. Did you have fun at the Christmas party? Guys, mm -hmm. eh, disfrutaron de la fiesta de fin de año el año anterior, last year? Did you have fun? No. Well, I don't have I, I don't, no, I don't have a party. <laughs> so you didn't yeah, have a party? COVID-19. Because of COVID? Yeah, so sad. Okay. No, but okay. podemos cambiarlo. For example, instead of Christmas party, birthday. Did you have fun in your last birthday? Disfrutaron de su cumpleaños anterior? Did you have fun in your last birthday? Yes. Yes. Did everybody have fun? Todos yes, disfrutaron su cumpleaños? Yes. Nice. Yes, okay. I did. There we go. There we go. Very nice. Number six. ¿Cuál es la pregunta en number six? 
Did it start on time? Very good. Did it start on time? Comenzó a tiempo, comenzó a la hora. Did it start on time? Number seven, what's the question in seven? Did they leave early? Did they leave early? Exactly. Remember, si le agregamos did, no le estoy, no la, la pregunta no es de ahorita, sino de antes. Se fueron tempranos. Did they leave early? Now, number eight. He arrived on time to the conference. ¿Cuál es la última? Did he arrive on the on, on time to the conference? Very good. Exactly, exactly, exactly. There we go. Yes, guys, excellent. ¿Preguntas con esto o estamos listos para practicar? Are you ready to practice? ¿Alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? Ok. So, el silencio lo tomo que no creo. No questions. Okay. Podría poner un ejemplo de cómo formular una pregunta con was where. Creo que yes, of course. Ayer. Yes, of course. No problem. Ok. Um, as we said before, and in English, eh, para pasados, hay tres palabras que nos sirven como base para una pregunta. So, ellas son el did y luego está el was, el where. Ok. So, la diferencia entre ellos es bastante simple. Let's call it that way. El did, yo lo voy a utilizar con any verb, cualquier verbo, except el verbo to be. Uh, permítanme. Ok, there we go. So, eh, el did lo uso con cualquier verbo, any verb, siempre y cuando no sea el verbo to be. ¿Ya? No le puedo preguntar, estuviste, fuiste, eras, con did, no se mezclan. Y el was el word. Pues es el was el where, el señor, el rey, you know? Entonces el was y el where no necesita nada más. Solo es el mismo. Entonces, ¿cómo saber cuándo lleva did, cuándo lleva was and where? Pues, ¿qué es lo que queremos preguntar? What do you want to ask? Por ejemplo, tenemos la expresión there is. Que sabemos que there is, or there are, significa hay, right? Hay algo. Entonces yo vengo y yo le quiero preguntar, Uh, no sé, le quiero decir que fui al centro comercial el fin de semana, por ejemplo. I went to the shopping mall. Y viene usted y me pregunta, mira, ahí había gente. Estoy preguntando el pasado. Y yo sé que había o haber se utiliza eh, la expresión o la parte gramatical de descenderar. Entonces, primero, hagamos de descenderar en pasado. So, tengo there, right? Y si quiero utilizar there is, ¿cuál es el pasado de is? Was. Was. Entonces se convierte en there was. Tengo there are y él se convierte en there. Were. 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 Ok. Siempre siento yo digo, there are a lot of people. There are a lot of people. ¿Cómo la expreso en pasado? ¿Cómo digo? Había muchas personas. Okay. Pero voy a cambiar there. are. Yes. Por web, well, perfecto. There were a lot of people. Y ahora le quiero hacer pregunta, porque yo, yo soy bien meque. <ríe> And yo quiero preguntarle, you know, ¿habían muchas personas? Were there a lot of people? Exacto. Para pregunta, yo cambio el orden, me traigo el where al inicio y el there después. Entonces la pregunta es, where there a lot of people? Y ya se convierte en pregunta. Porque yo ya sé que el there are o there is and there are es para había. Pero, ¿en qué otro escenario puedo utilizar el was y el where? Lo mismo que en presente lo uso en pasado. Por ejemplo, en presente yo digo, I am, no sé, tengo 20 años, digamos. Digamos, guys. I say, for example, I am 20 years old. Pero vengo y le quiero contar que cuando yo tenía 20. Entonces vengo, cambio el verbo to be, ¿ya? El pasado de am? Was. was. Ahí está. I was, 20, um, I was 20 years old, por ejemplo. Ya lo cambié el pasado. Um, pero ahora, por ejemplo, quiero cambiar eso y yo tengo you are. You're 20 years old. Lo mismo. Vengo, cambio el are. ¿Cuál sería el pasado de are? Was or were? Where. Where. Was or were. Es where. where. You were 20 years old. Pero como es pregunta, 
lo que voy a hacer es venir, lo agarro y lo cambio a la posición inicial. Were you 20 years old? Yeah. O oh, okay, qué sí, es que te gustaba cuando tenías 20 años. So what do you like when you were 20 years old? La, la idea de este was or were es que es independiente, no necesita nadie más, no necesita un div. Es diferente cuando ya hablamos del verbo ir, por ejemplo, que usted le pregunte a dónde fuiste o fuiste a la playa. Entonces yo tengo, uh, for example, you, I'm going to write it here. You went to the beach, que sería la oración normal, right? Cuando yo le, vengo y le digo, ah, oh, fui a la playa, you went to the beach, pero la quiero convertir en pregunta. Entonces, con estos verbos, yo no puedo venir, lo agarro y lo cambio de posición. No se puede, porque no es un verbo independiente. Entonces, este, lo que hago es le voy a agregar algo más para que me indique que es pasado. Y lo que le agrego, le, lo que le agrego es el did. Ya no necesito cambiar el verbo go porque el did me dice que es pregunta y me dice que es pasado. Um, no sé si esto los confunde a little bit. No, ¿Es that no, better? No. ¿Un poco mejor? Yes, so, gracias. So vamos a practicar, guys. Let's go and practice. Let's do the following. I want you to take a look at the following. Give me one second. There we go. So uh, help me with the previous exercise. Now, where are you? There we go. Okay, form the questions. Vamos a crear las preguntas. For example, Carol opened the window. Esta es una oración en pasado. Pero necesito que se cree en pregunta. Entonces, si se fijan, le agregaron did, que es lo que acabamos de ver. Se le agrega did a cualquier verbo que no sea el verbo to be. Y el verbo que acá estaba en pasado, lo vamos a usar en presente. Did Carol open the window? Y eso es todo. That's it. Now, first, identificamos acá si hay un verbo to be, porque los verbos to be son señores, amos del universo y no necesitan el did. ¿Ok? So, um, ¿ven el verbo to be como sujeto verbo to be en alguna de estos? Number three. No. Number three es, Number three? es el went, uh, no, no, went. pero went es el no. pasado de go. Ajá. Yeah. Remember was and were, vamos buscando was and were. Como sujeto, was and were. ¿Lo ven en algún lado? Perdón, acá yes. me comí el número siete. This yes. should be number seven. Uh -huh. Yeah, exactly, esta de acá. Entonces, esta de acá va a ser fácil porque no lleva el verbo to be, solo se cambia el orden, right? Eh, ¿Ven otra? Do you see another? No. No, ok. Perfect. Entonces vamos y revisemos. Si no el, va el verbo to be, a todos les vamos a agregar el did y los verbos van a ir en presente, That's right? Sure. Van en la forma normal, sin cambios. So, tienen... You have three, four minutes para convertirlas en preguntas. Make them questions. Uh -huh. Make it on your own. Vamos a hacerlo individualmente ahorita. Luego lo, com lo combinamos. Then we compare it. Si lo pueden hacer oralmente, perfect. Si necesitan escribirlo, perfect. No hay ningún problema. So three, four minutes. Si tienen dudas, let me know, guys.
One more minute, me dicen si necesitan más tiempo. I'll give you some time. Give my friend watch this movie. This movie. Uh, okay, guys, están listos? Uh, is everybody ready? Yes, yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. So help me with this one, please. Number one, Sam bought the CD. ¿Quién tiene la primera? Who wants to help us with number one? Did Sam buy CD? 
perfect. Yes, good, not bird. Number two, we played the chess last Saturday. Who has number two? Did play, Did play? Saturday. Saturday. Okay, just a question. ¿Le, le ponemos el mismo played o le quitamos no. ed? We played. Without. Exactly. No. Did Without we play chess ED. last Saturday? Mm -hmm. Did you... Did you or did we? Ambas están bien. Both of them are good. Yes. Did you play? Uh, did you play chess, or did we play chess? Both are okay. Mm -hmm. Number three. Who has number three? Did she go to the market yesterday? Excellent. Did she go yes. to the market? Okay. Very good. Number four. My friends watched this movie last week. Did my friend watch this movie last week? That's good, that's good. Alguien tiene algo diferente? Do you have something different? No, miss. Okay, that's a very good one. Did my friends, pero yo también lo puedo cambiar, a did your friends. Ambas estarían bien. Did your friends? Oh, yes, my friends. Or did my friends? Yes, my friends. I mean, la única diferencia es como quién hace la pregunta, right? Si yo vengo y me hago la pregunta como a mí misma, ¿Vieron mis amigos la película? <ríe> ok, es raro. Bueno, yo no, yo no me hago ese tipo de preguntas. Ustedes sí. ¿Do you? No. Se hacen preguntas como reflexivas. A modo de recordarse. Fui. Comí. <ríe> um, bueno, yo creo que las hago. Más que todo con el comer. Y lo hice. No, nunca me recuerdo qué hice o okay, qué okay, no hice. So, uh, yeah. En, entonces, eso es lo que dif diferencia a did my friends. Es como si yo me hiciera la pregunta. ¿Fueron mis amigos? O did your friends? Cuando le pregunto a alguien más, right? Number five. Who has number five? They collected postcards. Did they collect postcards? Very good. Did they collect postcards? Exactly. That's the one. Number six, the teacher pointed to the board. Did the teacher point to the board? Yes, point, right? Point. Without ED. Point. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, number seven, la que le falta el número, <laughs> pero está ahí la línea. <laughs> um, it's quite interesting, porque solo es el verbo to be. Yes, Alex? No, no. Cre 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 Was I la voz de Alex. Ok, was I thirsty? Podría ser una opción. ¿Cuál es la well, otra? Were you thirsty? Very good. Were you thirsty? Was, uh, was I? Again, es como una pregunta sobre a mí misma. Tenía sed. Yeah, pero a mí misma, right? <laughs> yes, was I thirsty? Yes, yes. Y la otra es a usted. Tenías sed? Were you thirsty? Ambas están bien. Number eight. Frank married her a year ago. Did Frank marry her a year ago? Very good, exactly. Did Frank marry her? Uh, number nine, my brother rang Susan yesterday. Did my brother ring Susan yesterday? Ring, excellent. Ring. Yeah, that's the one, very good. Uh, and the last one, he had ham and eggs for breakfast. Did he have ham and eggs for breakfast? Very good, exactly. Uh, so did we have ham and eggs for breakfast? There the we ham. go, super good. Yeah. yeah, ham is jamón, right? So yes. ham and eggs for breakfast, that's the one. Okay, guys, uh, thank you so much for that. You did an amazing job. Pero como siempre la idea es practicar, tengo un par de preguntitas para ustedes. I have a couple of questions for you that I hope you can help me with. Déjenme un segundo que my computer no se los quiere mostrar. Ok, here we have. Tengo 10 preguntas. I have 10 different questions. Y les voy a dar 10 minutitos. No, 10 segundos. No, 10 minutos. I'm going to give you 10 seconds para encender la cámara. To turn on your camera. So, uh, if I don't see your camera, pues ni modo, les toca presentación mañana. So, let me just take a look. Creo que estamos completos. We have full house today. So, da, 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 da. one, two, three, 
Ten. Time is over. Okay, let me see. Uh, I don't see <laughs> Richard. Mi mamá le tocó. Richard. I don't see Claris. I don't see Claudia, pero Claudia no se preocupe. I understand. Jackie, Jocelyn, oh my God, Eduardo, a mí misma, <laughs> uh, my other device, uh, Carlos, lo voy a escribir porque después se me olvida. So hold on. Uh, guys, ¿de cuánto les dejamos la presentación? Sean, sean buena gente con ellos. Be good with them. Two minutes. Teacher, I'm going to call you. Hi, Richard. Hi, teacher. I'm going to call you. 15 seconds. I don't know. Okay, wait. Um, well, I know Claudia is a little sick. I know she's sick. I think Alex is working. So I, I understand that. Richard. Marvin, what is it? No, say, Richard. We want evidence. <laughs> We need evidence. Okay, teacher, no hay problema. Ahí pone la, la, la penitencia. Yo cumplo. Va, es súper bien. No, a mí, no es un, no es un castigo, you know? Está Sino bien, que no es para problema. que practiquen más. It's just for you to practice. Permítame, voy a tomar nota. So, um, ¿qué más me hace falta here? Let me just take notes here. Ok, two minutes, una presentación de dos minutos. Yeah. Two minutes, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> ok, ok. No, es difícil. Mm, I think two minutes. Four no, minutes. pero van a, well, pero van a tener four minutes, no, pero van a tener la oportunidad de practicar un poquito, you know. So, con diez minutitos que practiquen antes de la clase, they are like super good. Yeah. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Carlos me falta. Okay. Ya se los voy a compartir en el grupo de WhatsApp para hacerles el reminder. Me falta Brenda. Brenda está por aquí. Creo que Brenda no vino. Pero no hay problema para que practique también. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna... I mean, guys, uh, this is very important. No lo vean como una penitencia, un castigo. It is not, actually. Es solamente la oportunidad para que practiquemos más, you know. And remember, si no me arriesgo, si no lo intento, si no practico, nunca voy a saber si estoy cometiendo errores o si puedo dar más, right? Uh, si tengo dificultades con esto. Si no los escucho, es bien difícil a veces saber con qué les puedo ayudar. How I can help you, right? And that's yes. why it's important to que practiquemos con alguien más y que escuchemos a más compañeros. So take a look at the questions we have right here today. Um, for example, number one says, what high school did you go to? Uh, what university did you go to? When did you finish high school? Um, did you enjoy college? Did you enjoy school? Eh, um, revisamos el número 6 sé que asociamos bastante la palabra de college con colegio pero de hecho no es así college no es un colegio college sería en la universidad si ven mm. university en college es lo mismo so this okay. is university entonces como digo el colegio pero el colegio es la escuela entonces la pregunta es did you enjoy school no importa si fue colegio, si fue escuela mm. bachillerato, etc So college, sí es university, right? So be careful with this, porque a veces lo confundimos. Um, I like question number seven, so let's take a look at it. Did you, oh, classes, what classes did you fail? <laughs> Guys, ¿alguna vez aplazaron alguna materia? Did you fail any class? What classes did you fail? Uh... Or what classes were the most difficult for you? Guys, what was the most difficult class for you and why? English. English. <laughs> no. Nelson, what was the most difficult class for you back in a school or in university? In all my life. Uh -huh. Mathematics. No. And you became an accountant <laughs> because of that. 
But I count no is equal a matemática. Really? No, pero ven mucho número, so you see a lot of math. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... No, but I count don't see ecuaciones que oh. ama a y mal a e, no. So, what you don't like is algebra. Lo que no le gusta es la algebra. Algebra, yeah. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah, because when you say math, me imagino sumas, restas y todo eso. <laughs> okay, but you became an accountant. Interesting. Okay, Anita, what about you, Ana? Hello, teacher. Hello. What is the subject that was the most difficult for you? Uh, repeat, please. Yes, uh, question number eight. What classes were the most difficult for you? Uh, for me, more difficult is programming. Mm. Oh, okay, programming. Oh, but you're talking about college, right? Yes. And university. Okay. Yes. Programming. University. Oh, okay. Programming. Okay. Pro yeah, I have heard that it was hard. Okay. Uh, let me see who else is right there. And uh, what about the rest of you guys? What was the most difficult? Pedrina, for you, what was the most difficult subject? Yeah, I, I see her right there, pero creo que no tenemos audio, Pedrina. Mm -hmm. Veo su micrófono abierto, Teacher. pero no le escuchamos. Oh. Escríbamela, si me, si me escucha Pedrina, escríbamela. No worries, creo que no tenemos audio. Dígame, Ignacio. For me, the more difficult uh, is... Uh, was uh, chemistry. chemistry. Chemistry, yeah, for me too. Chemistry was really hard. Physics, no education physics, but physics, physics in chemistry. No, oh. Oh. Yeah. Only, only chem chemistry. Chemistry. So chemistry. What significa eso? Chemistry is química. Cuando oh. llevan como componentes, uh, formulas yes. químicas, so chemistry and physics. Es como ya la, cuando llevan, uh, sometimes en las escuelas enseñan matemática, physics, chemistry y como Perfecto. todos los, los elementos separados. Uh -huh. yes. okay. mm -hmm. So those are the ones. Yeah, cal well, in my school, ¿cuál era la más difícil? What was the most difficult? For me, science. <laughs> That was no. the most difficult for you. <laughs> Believe science. me, I don't like science. No. Uh. I don't like anatomy. I don't like... Um, ¿Qué lleva? Anatomy, Anatomy physics, uh, natural, uh, natural, animal. No, es así. <laughs> it is the only part that I like. But science talking about physics and all of that, I don't like it. Okay. Eh, Pedrina says auditoría de sistema. Oh. Okay. To become an audit. All right. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for sharing that, guys. We'll continue tomorrow. Solo antes que nos vayamos, déjenme confirmar asistencia de los que no no se encontraban acá para que ya nos quede guardadito. Give me one second. Me hacía falta, I was missing uh, Marvin, I think. Present teacher. Pero yes, so Marvin, thank you so much for that. Un segundo, ya los, ya los dejo ir, guys. Wait a second, wait a second, solamente. En, uh, mientras tanto, chicos, solo hacerle la, la invitación a que completemos las actividades de la plataforma para que tenemos el 15 de septiembre libres, podemos tomar ese día para ya quedarnos libres y tranquilos y pues ya no quedamos con ningún pendiente para el último día. Uh, so, I got Marvin. Me hacía falta la confirmación de Clary, pero Clary creo que está por ahí. Y es mi Gracias, Clary. Moser. Una pregunta, Miss. Dígame, Miss. Um, aún no se, han, no se ha corregido la, el ejercicio 2 de la tarea 16. Um, well, I was checking y en teoría sí ya está corregido. Todavía oh, le da okay. error. Bueno, solo intenté hasta hoy por la tarde, ahorita en la noche no, no he intentado. Ok, de lo que intentamos la vez anterior no le funcionó, ¿verdad? It didn't oh, work. No, no, no. Me comentaron que ya estaba revisado. Vale, déjeme entrar ahorita que terminamos la sesión.
y lo revisamos. Okay, eh, René, si sí lo vi por ahí, you're welcome. Richard, Richard también está por ahí. En... René está en turno, teacher, creo que estaba atendiendo a un cliente, por eso se conectó. Oh, ok. Sí, pero lo vi conectado hace unos minutitos. All right. Ok, guys, eh, so, nos quedan dos días más, only two yes. more days, please don't miss it. Eh, no, intentemos estar acá a practicar as much as we can y nos vemos el día de mañana see you guys, que descansen see have a wonderful night bye bye, bye guys bye. les voy a mandar bye. a ver bye. Bye. quienes me deben presentations bye bye, bye. bye. Good night. see you bye. Bye. see you tomorrow, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. good night thank bye. you likewise bye.